upon my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to Hunteru Karate, myself, my classmates, and my family. I will honor and respect my sensei and instructors. I will never misuse Hunteru Karate. I promise to practice dedication, patience, confidence, strategy, and work. I will at all times observe the rules of the dojo. What style of karate do you study? So the style of karate that I study is called Hunteru Karate. And it translates into true school. And the reason that it's, it translates into true school is because we don't take our techniques to competition or we can't because we'll get disqualified. Because most of the times when you think about competition, they're fighting for points. And you're not fighting for points in a real life situation. In Hunter Karate, we use a mixture of hand and foot techniques, pressure point attacks, and some joint manipulation. And it originates from Okinawa. It was founded by Gichin Funakashi. And so the true school is because we can't take these techniques outside of the dojo. It's more for real life situations. How long have you been studying and what rank are you? Oh, man, I've been studying, so I started when I was about 12, so I've been studying now for about almost 20 years, and so now I've made it to a fourth degree black belt. What made you join? So when I was younger, I, you know, just like most of anybody that really gets into a contact sport, uh, it started off because I was getting bullied, and so my mom, she knew a very close family friend that taught martial arts. And so I went into the class so that I can know how to defend myself. What's your advice to any those who join and join karate, any form of martial art? I would say if the mindset is there, you can really start at any age. I've trained students from the age of four all the way to students in their seventies. And that's the beauty of martial arts, is that you can tailor it to the student and to the environment. That's how the MOSAP came about. Uh, there was a ban on weapons in Okinawa. And so the farmers, you know, they were in a lower social class. So the MOSAP really started out as a farming tool. And they would use it to pack the water or to harvest crops but they would use it to disguise. They would they essentially uh, use the bow staff and it was disguised uh, with some of the techniques that they were practicing. And then you could hide behind the fact that I'm using this as a forming tool. And, but I'm also still learning techniques to be able to defend myself. Have you ever had to use your martial arts in defense? As of recently, no. But I can say when I was younger, this is why we always said in class, the white belt is usually the most dangerous of all of the students because for one, they don't know as much. And, but when you start learning martial arts, you think you know something. And so I tried to use it when I was younger to, I was using it in defense and it didn't really turn out so, so well. And so that motivated me to just continue to learn and learn and perfect my craft. And plus, uh, I, I have a bunch of uncles and they don't mind making fun of you if you lose a fight. So I've, now at this stage, I've made sure that I'm perfecting what I'm doing. Where can we find out more about you? So I'm doing posts on social media through Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, you can find me on the Lanes Friday. The, the form of karate itself is called Hunter Roo Karate, but we're bringing it under Lane's Karate because my students are calling Sensei Lane. And you can find me on any of the social media sites, uh, once again, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, and even YouTube.